So we rotate the knob to 6V since it is greater than 600mV. That means any voltage greater than 6V, you move the knob to value greater than 6V. So we rotate the knob to 6V. Place your probes according to your battery polarity and we get a reading of 1.5V which means our battery is in a good condition. If we flip the probes polarities, we get a negative voltage. This battery is rated 3.2V. So we place the probe again and we get a negative 0.2V. So the battery is 40. This laptop charger is rated 20V. So we move the knob from 6 to 60V. Clip the negative terminal and there is no way this can go in here. So we change the probe and now we get 20.5V. Mind you, if you don't know the voltage you're going to be working with, simply set the knob at its maximum range, 600 volt or 1000 volt, depending on your meter ranges. Do not exceed the rated value unless you want to get a new one, but if you don't, save your multimeter from getting damaged. We can also test voltage drop of a circuit for each component. Place your probes in parallel with the component you want to test for. The green LED has a voltage drop of 2.2 volt. And the red LED, its voltage drop is 1.9V and the blue has a voltage drop of 2.8V and the resistor 